I'm gonna show you how to actually determine your exact load angle factor. And we're gonna do this a couple different ways. We'll do it, the first way we'll do it, it's more of a on paper type way to establish your load angle factor. The second way we're gonna do it is gonna be a more practical way that you can actually use in the field as opposed to doing it on paper. Okay, so let's jump into it here. And let's just start by drawing a load like this. And let's say the weight of this load is 6,000 pounds. Okay. And now I'm just gonna draw some slings running up here. Beautiful pick points. And I'm gonna show the length of the slings. Let's say this is 12 foot. And let's say the vertical length here is eight foot. So now I'm gonna show you the formula and everything that you need to establish what the load angle factor is on these slings. So you're gonna do weight divided by the number of slings. So as we can see, the weight is 6,000 pounds. And for this sake, let's just say there is two slings. Then we multiply that by the actual length of the sling divided by this vertical length here, which we already established is eight feet. And by doing this, you're gonna determine what the load angle factor is on those slings. So we just do 6,000, which is the weight over the two slings that we have. And that's gonna be multiplied by the actual length of the slings over the vertical length, which we established is eight feet. So we're gonna go 6,000 multiplied by 12, which equals 72,000. Then we're gonna go two times eight equals 16. So then we're gonna go 72,000 divided by 16 equals 4,500 pounds. So as you can see, we only have 4,500 pounds of stress on our slings. So you just need to factor this number in with the safe working load of the actual slings that you were using to make sure that the lift is safe. So just because the load is 6,000 pounds, when you multiply 4,500 by two, you're actually putting 9,000 pounds of applied weight on those slings. And that's all about the load angle factor. Okay, moving on now to the second way to determine the load angle factor. This way is for much more practical use in the field. It's very simple to do, as long as you understand to make sure where to get your measurements from. So up here, I have the actual formula, which is sling divided by height equals the sling angle factor. Now you need to find 10 inches from the top of the load to the sling, wherever that may be on the particular load that you're working with, you will need to mark that point on the sling. In this case, it's right here. The next thing you're gonna do is take the measurement from the pick point here at the bottom up to this point that you marked for 10 inches on the sling. It's not the entire length of the sling to the hook, just to wherever 10 inches is. So for this, let's say it's 14 inches. So now we have both the sling and the height, which is all that we need. So we do 14 divided by 10 equals 1.4. A much easier way to do this as well as as soon as you see that this is 14 inches, you simply just move the decimal over to here, which as you can see is 1.4. Now, if this were 12 inches, it would be 1.2, that would be your sling angle factor. Or if it was 16 inches, it would be 1.6. So if we come over here to our chart, we can see that the load angle factor, as you've already learned, for 45 degrees is 1.414. So the sling right here is roughly at a 45 degree angle. And from now, you simply take the load weight multiplied by the load angle factor, which is 
divided by the number of slings, and that's how you're gonna come up with your answer. So let's just say the load weight is 5,000 pounds. Multiply that by 1.4, which equals 7,000 pounds. So we'll just take that 5,000 multiplied by the angle factor, which is 1.4. That's gonna equal 7,000. Then you simply divide that by the number of slings, which equals 3,500 pounds. It's that simple.